Welcome back to Dollstar Diecast. Got a Hot Wheels show tonight. All from the year 2000. Yeah, 2000. So yeah, let's get cracking. Okay. To start off with, we'll look at these. Got this one at Kelly's Toy Stop today. And also this one over here. We'll look at this one first. I think it's the Buick panel. But uh, let's open it. Okay, here it is. Let's take a closer look at this one. I think it's a Buick. Box didn't say. There's a Hot Wheel. Detailed bottom. Yep. The 1950 Buick. 1997 casting release date. And yeah. Opening hood, the chrome motor in there. There's the interior a little bit, and yes, I did drop it, and the top popped off and landed right on the side. So, Richie did it again. This one does have the surfboard, though, that's sick. And I think it'll pop out, and it does. Let's put her back in. Pretty cool. Uh, tail lights on this. Looks like there's some writing on there. Hmm. It's supposed to be wood. Oh, and there's another little ding. And on the hood. Dang. Nice. So oh, well. I have a few of these, but this will be another deco. Pretty sweet though, 50 Buick. And then also I have a couple of <coughs> from 2005. This is the Rebel Rides and it's the Scorching Scooter. And yeah. Two thousand four card. Let's open it. Whoa, the scorching scooter is a rebel ride. It's 
check it out. It's got the matte black paint. Some flames on there. Hot Wheel logo on the fender. Harley motor. It's pretty sweet. I got a bunch of these. Nineteen ninety six casting release date. This one's made in Thailand. Pretty sweet. That's pretty awesome. And it rolls. All right, one more from 2005. It's this one. Red lines, tail dragger. <clears throat> Collector number 100. The scorching scooter was 79. All right, let's open it. Okay, here's the tail dragger. It's the red liner. Got the five spoke red line wheels. Pretty sweet looking. Nineteen ninety seven casting release. Tail dragger. I think this was based off of Mercury, but I could be wrong. I'm positive on that. Of course, I want them all to be the Merc. There's the interior a little bit. And there is a back seat in there. Pretty sweet. Alright, there's the tail dragger, red liner. That was from 2005. The rest of it, these are all from 2000. <clears throat> We're going to start off with this one the proper tropper. Seen in 3D series, and this is number one out of the four cars in the set. All the cards are going to be the same, except for the number on the back. This is number nine. Let's open it. Okay, here's the proper chopper. Here they go.
Mm -mm. Well, anyway, they're not separating very easy, and I don't want to snap them. Unit 3, trackside assistance. Yeah, I don't know why it's not separating. Maybe because it's so old. 1989 casting release date on this. So. There it is. It's got the hook on the back. Unit 3, proper chopper. Up next will be number 22. Power Plower. Attack Pack Series, two out of four in the set. Got these, some of these at Book Off, some at the Swap Meet, and maybe at Kelly's Toy Stop also. But got this one at Book Off, and that's what I paid, three bucks. So, let's open it. Okay, here's the Power Plower. Let's take a closer look. Hang on. Okay, I had to turn that light off in the back because it distracts from this car. So here it is. Do a little close up. It's got a Piranha Deco on it. A Attack Pack series, and this one's the Piranha. I don't know what the others are, but I got the book right here. I could find out real quick. And I looked these up in the book before I open them to make sure that <clears throat> I'm not doing something I shouldn't be. And this is a 1977 casting release date. This is the original casting. No steering wheels on these. And I believe there's a couple different variations of the truck bed with a toolbox in the corner here or something. But that one's more valuable, I believe, if you get it. This isn't it. This is a $3 model. Next would be this one. Circus on Wheels, Fat Fendered 40, again 2000 card, and this is collector number 27, let's open it. Okay, yeah, I looked it up in the book, and this could be an eighth, anywhere from four, no not four, but eight to ten dollar card right here. So I'm not going to open it, but we'll take a closer look. And if it had five-spoke wheels, all small five-spoke, this thing would be worth 40 bucks. But that tampa looks kind of gray to me. says if the gray, if it's gray or silver in the tampa it looks gray to me gray is 10 bucks so 
This could be a $10 car with the tan interior. No rear deco, but you do get that little gray Hot Wheel logo. There's the front. Malaysia base. 1982 casting release date. All right. Up next, though, let's see if we're going to open this one. It's another Circus on Wheels series. This is four out of four, the Dairy Delivery. Book off for three bucks. Let's check it. By the way, collector number 28. Let's check it. Okay, there it is. The Dairy Delivery Circus on Wheels series in 2000. Let's take a closer look. Circus on Wheels, world's smallest clowns, gold five spoke, cool purple paint, One seat. Looks like there's something in the back though. Nineteen ninety seven casting release date. See if we can see what's back there. Maybe it's the motor. Sweet, it is. And there's the dairy delivery. And next, CD Custom Series, Pike's Peace Tacoma, two out of four in that set, collector number 30 in 2000. Check it. Okay, here's the Pikes Peak Tacoma. So there's about three or four variations of this. And one has something to do with this metal in here. Supposedly if it's missing like that, it could be worth 20 bucks. Or if it's the whole metal piece, I'm not sure, but anyway it's anywhere from two to twenty bucks the four variations and this thing was built for running pikes peak and if you don't know what that is it's a <clears throat> race course going uphill in utah and it climbs up to a high elevation and it's pretty
pretty dangerous too. Hairpin turns going up back and forth on these switchbacks up the mountain. And I need the right one to win. Oh, that's inside there. Pretty sweet though. It's a 1999 casting release date. And this is a Toyota. And I just opened one the other day. It was this one. Toyota logo right there. So yeah. And next will be this one, another CD custom series. The Shadow MK2. Three out of four in that set. And this is collector number 31. Check it. Okay, there it is. The Shadow Mark II. And there's two variations of this one in 2000. And this happens to be the variation with the black plastic bottom. Off of there. And if you get it with the gray plastic bottom, it's worth 45 bucks, like this. If you get it with the gray plastic bottom, like this plastic here, it could be worth 45 bucks. But this one's only worth three. So. Pretty sweet. And I don't know if this is a real car or a fantasy car, but it's pretty cool. There it is. And up next, we're going to go over here to this one. This is number 36 in 2000. Kung Fu 4 Series, the mini truck. Four out of four in that set. And it's the mini truck. One of Ghost Jerker's favorite cars. Boom. She has the sound effect for it. All right. Let's check it. Okay, here's the mini truck from the Kung Fu series. Sick. So if it had all small tri-blade wheels like this size, and not this size in the back, it'd be worth 15 bucks. But like this, it's worth two. And I think I paid three for it, so. But there's all the speakers in this thing. Sweet. You get some chrome in the interior also, which is awesome. Let's go with that motor. I don't know what that says on there. But 
I believe Kung Fu is Chinese. Could be wrong. It says truck right there though. That looks like a Toyota. That's the mini truck. Okay, next. Got another one from Book Off. And this is the Tony Hawk Skate Series. And this is two out of four in the set. The Solaire CX-4. And it's collector number 42 in 2000. Let's check it. Okay, so there's three variations of this one. And if you happen to have, where is it? Variation A, right there. I believe that's the one I have because this variation the red is maroon right there in the birdhouse. Mine is red. So if you have version A, it's worth 75 bucks. There's a little hint for you right there. Mine's worth two. So, yeah, I check them before I open them. I haven't checked these yet, so before I open them, when I pause it, I check them. So, this is a $2 model that I paid $3 for. And the back does open, which is cool. The Hot Wheel logo on top. And Birdhouse is Tony Hawk, his brand. And believe it or not, he's still going strong. Dude's well into his 50s, could be even 60, I don't know. But this thing is sweet. The Solaire CX-4 Birdhouse. Okay. Up next, another Birdhouse Tony Hot Skate Series. Three out of four, the Speed Blaster. And this is collector number 43 in 2000. And I got it at Book Off for three bucks. Let's check it. Okay, here it is, the Speed Blaster. Tony Hawk Skate Series 2000. And this is the only variation of this one, and it's only worth two bucks. nineteen ninety casting release date and looks like the window is probably blacked out I don't know yeah you can't see through it again the birdhouse logo the 
try spokes. Three spokes, whatever. Cool deco on the side. There it is. Speed Blaster. Okay, I got three more. And I found another one of these baby boomers. Different color though. So I'm still hunting for a couple more like these for somebody. And yeah, this is the Secret Code series. Two out of four in that set. And it's collector number 46. There's a red one also. Let's check it. There it is, the Baby Boomer from 2000 Secret Code series. Two variations of this one. And one's a Malaysia base and one's a China base. And Malaysia base is worth three bucks. China base is worth two. So I got the Malaysia base. That thing is mean looking. It's a mean baby stroller. And look what the baby's steering with. B is to A what D is to C. Hmm. Pretty sweet baby boomer. Okay, up next. Two left. This is the 1965 Impala. Collector number 197 from 2000. Got it from Book Off for three bucks. Let's check it. Okay, here it is, the 1965 Impala. Only one variation in 2000 of this one. And it's worth two bucks in the book. Uh, it looks like white interior. Or is it yellow? Could be yellow. It is. It's yellow interior. And yellow glass. Gold China base. 1996 release date. Tri blade or three spoke. Cool paint on this one. Green looks sweet. There it is, Johnny, the Impala for you. Johnny Bra.
And the last one for tonight's show is going to be this 1957 Chevy collector number 228 in 2000. Let's check it. Okay, here it is, the 57 Chevy collector number 228. In 2000, there was 250 castings in the year 2000, and here's about, let's see, there's about 12 of them right here, and this one's only worth two bucks in the book. There's only one of these, one variation. Got the metal motor. Pro speed. Cool paint job on the side. Here's the bottom, 1976 release date. Pretty cool, metal motor, metal body, plastic base. Cool deco, cool orange paint. Here's the interior. I believe the interior is part of the glass. It's all one piece. There's the rear. Cool orange paint. And I also got this one at Kelly's Toy Stop. It's a promotional one. And it's the 1967 Pontiac GTO with the Vandy Camps Deco. Rubber tires. 67 Pontiac. And it's promotional from 1998. So I got that at Kelly's Twice and a couple others that I'll show later. So yeah, that's my show for tonight. Do a little close-up. All right. Let's move in for a closer look. And here's the mini truck. Pretty cool. Kung Fu series. And there's the Speed Blaster, I believe. Birdhouse, Tony Hawk, Solar CX-4, another Tony Hawk, Tail Dragger, '57 Chevy, cool paint on that one. 
and the proper chopper pretty cool and then we got the baby boomer just think about rolling your kid around in that holy smokes and we got the dairy delivery world's smallest clowns power plower Pikes Peak Tacoma The Shadow Mark IV, I believe, or something like that. Sixty five Impala. That thing is sweet. And the Scorching Scooter. Another sweet one. And my favorite, 1950 Buick. The surfboard in the back. Opening hood. And that's my show for tonight. Thank you for watching. Sorry it took so long. But until next time, this is Dollstar Diecast. We're out for now.